So what is monitoring? Monitoring is collecting and visualizing data about the systems at runtime regularly so that the system's health can be viewed and tracked. The monitoring has to answer three questions. The first one is that is the service on? The next one is that is the service functioning as expected? And finally, the question is that is the service performing well? As an example, we can think of a car's dashboard. By looking at this example dashboard, we can tell that the service is on because the engine RPM is above zero. So that means that the engine is on. Is the service functioning as expected? Yes, it does. Because what we expect from a car is moving. And we can see that the car is moving with a speed of 50 kilometers an hour. But is the service performing well? Maybe not, because the engine light is on and there are so many other warnings and errors on the dashboard. Now let's use these three questions about a real website. So the website I'm using as an example is called Save the Koala. It's the website of the Australian Koala Foundation. And if we want to see if the service is on, we will make HTTP GET or HTTP HEAD request to savethekoala.com. And if they return HTTP OK or 200, we know that the service is on. Is the service functioning as expected? There are many ways to answer this question. For example, I have assumed that the backend of this website is Python. So if we capture the Python errors and record them, if the number of Python errors is, for example, below five per minute, you can define the threshold. You can decide that the service is functioning as expected. Is the service performing well? To know this, you have to make HTTP GET request. For example, we can decide that if the response time of an HTTP GET is 20 milliseconds and below, then the service is performing well. The data that we collect for monitoring is called the telemetry data. The telemetry data is normally used to find where the problem is or where the problem might be, not really to diagnose the problem. A microservices-based system is made of so many components and the telemetry data can point out where the problem might be. There are two metrics that we can use to measure the DevOps success and they are good to learn, so I have included them in this topic. The first time is mean time to detection or MTTD. MTTD is the amount of time on average between the start of an issue and when the team becomes aware of it or when the issue is detected. Mean time to resolve or MWTR or MTTR is the average time between when an issue is detected and when the systems are fixed and operating normally.